So welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. Uh, this is day seven of Equilibrium. Sorry about yesterday. Everything in the studio said that it was working and somehow the stream didn't go to YouTube. Um, so it's working today. That's really cool. Um, so yeah, I forgot to mention last week that um, there was a really lovely article in the Connacht Tribune and also in the City Tribune. So if you're local to Galway, then check it out or you can get the online version. Um, uh, there's a short version, a snippet of it up on the um, no other Facebook page. So you can read a bit of it and uh, it was written. Um, so yeah, so today a series of moments. Um, that's life really, you know, life is a series of moments. So welcome to this one. Nice that you join me. Um, come, let's sit on our mat. So you can have something underneath your bum. You can have your legs straight, feet wide, soles of your feet together, cross-legged position. I'm gonna bring my hands to my heart. <clears throat> and just feel the earth beneath you. Mother Earth. Feel something clear and steady in your mind, in your head, and then feel the space around you, Father Sky, the front of your body, the back of your body, the left side, and the right side. The inside feeling tone felt sense of you in this moment. Well, how would you describe this sense of you? This living, being, breathing moment of you? And then notice how that inside is relating to the outside. How is it in relationship to the world around you? Nice, cool. So stretch your legs out long. And then just bring both hands to the left side and push both hands down into the floor. And just breathe into that. Maybe one hand is easy, like the left. Maybe one hand is not so clear, the right. Come back up to center and then do the same on the other side. Both hands down towards the right. Notice is this different? Stretching down into your toes, lengthen through your spine. Last month we talked a lot about principles. So connect into your legs, drop your weight into your pelvis, lengthen through the spine, push deeply down into your arms. So creating a wave of connection off through the body. Back to center. So pull your left elbow back, right palm is facing the ceiling, and then offer a piece of pizza. <laughs> piece of pizza, maybe just marshmallow. This was called marshmallow before. Marshmallow to the left. Nice. Pull your right elbow back and offer a marshmallow to the right. And then just begin to travel and notice your torso. Like what is the torsion that you can get in your torso? Tor oh, cool. <laughs> oh, she sells. See, no, oh, yeah, it's all gone today. So what way can you torsion with your torso from side to side? Nice, same thing, but side to side. So reach your left hand down towards the right side of your hip and then reach your right hand over your ear, but I'm not touching anything. I'm just reaching into space. Right side to the left, left side to the right. Hmm. And just lean into the potential of you as you balance, how can you mobilize? So as soon as I stabilize, the movement is greater because I use the stability as the strength. Whereas right now, because you have to hold it up with your own torso, the movement will be smaller. Nice. Country dancing. Pull your right elbow up, drop your left elbow down, and just feel like, so you follow the thumbs. So I'm pulling my elbow, my thumbs, my right thumb, my right thumb goes right, and then my left thumb goes left. And I'm really exaggerating the movement of my elbows. Mm, so glorious, this one. 
extreme country dancing. Bring your right elbow down towards the left knee and then the left elbow down towards your right knee. And I'm pulling my other arm back behind. I just feel that. Torsioning, twisting, connecting, nice. Back to center. Reach both arms up towards the ceiling, reach up, look up. Nice, bend your elbows, pull them back behind you and then reach your arms back behind you as you drop your head down towards your knees. Rising up, reach up, look up. Really push down into your legs, connect into the pelvis, rise through your fingers. Bend your elbows, pull your arms back. Straighten your arms behind you as you drop your head down towards your knees. Reaching up, look up. And reaching back, drop your head down. And reaching up, look up. Head forward, reach your arms back. One more time. Up, pause there, long through the body, reaching tall through the whole of you. I've connected into my toes a little bit more. They're widening. My heels are connected. My sit bones and bum is really strong on the floor as I reach up. Nice. As a direction, drop your head down, reach your arms back. Really have a sense of reaching back through your arms, drawing your shoulders. I'm rounding my shoulders a little bit more, dropping down through the head. Nice. Come back to center. Roll deeply into your belly. Just have a sense of... All of that in your torso. Nice. And then roll in the other direction. Cool. So bend both knees so your feet are standing. And then tuck your left foot in. Bring your left hand to the floor and reach your right hand forward in front of you. So sandwich. Okay. Come back. Both feet on the floor, both elbows to your knees. Tuck your right foot in. Right hand to the floor. Reach your left hand forward. Come back. So this is called sandwich because you're sitting at a picnic and you see that there's a sandwich on a plate in front of you. And you reach for it, you come back and you go for another one. And so just see, like I'm looking at where my fingers touch on the ground and I'm trying to see, can I reach that with both hands? And actually I'm starting to go so far that my bum is starting to lift behind me. So maybe lift your bum as you reach. So now you're leaning more and more into the knee and leg that's on the floor and your bum is lifting as you go. Nice, come back to center, pause. So that was one hand moving forward. So cake is where you reach with both hands and you try and pick up a cake with both hands. So same movement, but different. Turn your right foot in and then try and reach forward with both hands. Pick something up, come back. Left foot in, both hands reach forward, come back and just travel from side to side. And so I'm going to imagine now that I'm like, how would I lift my bum as I reach forward? Maybe that's what you don't want to do, so don't do it. Maybe you do. How would you lift your bum to reach a tiny bit further? Next time you reach forward, whatever your distance is, pause there. Come back. Other side. Reach forward. Whatever your distance is, pause there. And come back. Nice. Both feet are wide. Drop both knees down towards the left and then reach your right hand towards the left and both knees have dropped down. Okay. Come back up to center over towards the right, reach your left hand and bring it to the floor. So this is fine if I'm only reaching for something very close, but if I want to go for something a little bit further, I start lifting the back leg. So if I want to go further, then I come into kind of like motorbike where you're reaching your back leg further and I'm beginning to straighten my back leg. So I can reach my, I counterweight my body with the reach of my hand. So drop your head down as your leg lengthens long behind you. Like how long and low can you be through the body? 
Next time you go to whatever side you're going to, pause. Really feel that length through the whole of your body. Point into your toes, reach into your fingertips. Oh, so yum. <laughs> come back, come to the other side. Reaching, maybe you grab a dog on the way. And just lengthen into the back toes. And come all the way back up. Stretch your legs that long, roll into your ankles. Other direction. Roll into your wrists at the same time. Wiggle your eyebrows. <laughs> Open your fingers wide. Make fists. Squeeze your toes. Open your fingers wide. See if you can wiggle your eyebrows at the same time. And not smile. <laughs> do your eyebrows move in sync with your hands and feet? Or do they move independently? I really wonder how I multitask at all in my day when things like this are so complicated. I'm like, why? How do I manage all the things I do? But amazing. So, land on the floor. Arrive in, pause. Let that settle. Breath is in your belly, a sense of resting back through the body. I'm going to unpack my shoulders. By pulling an elbow up towards the ceiling, I'm going to tuck my chin in a little bit more. And then reach my arms wide. Lift your right foot up. Oh, actually, just start by dropping your knees from side to side. Oh, just rock into one side and then the other. And notice the sensations. Is this really comfortable? Is there bits that are a little bit challenged by this? Is there parts of you that you need to care for and pay attention to and slow down around. Notice how this feels. Nice. So lift the right foot up and bring the right ankle to rest on top of the left knee. Brace both elbows deeply into the floor and then rock the shape down towards the left and then come back up to center. But you're only going to your wellness. Like what is the expression of your wellness right now rather than What's the biggest shape you can make? And the sensations of wellness are how we gauge, am I going too hard? Am I working off some kind of external expectation rather than the reality of my body in this moment? So moment, a series of moments, and each moment we have the opportunity to connect and be present in our bodies. We have the opportunity to truly acknowledge our limits, our boundaries, our sense of wellness. Hmm. Other side, bring your left ankle up to rest on top of the right knee. Brace your elbows deeply and then rock. Those of you who've been with me for a while know that my left side is always different from my right. So I go slower, I go smaller, I pay deeper attention. The sensations are much stronger. So I really allow it to be different. I don't expect that it's going to be the same as my right side. Also, I'm always very surprised by how able it is in some things and how unable it is in others. So be surprised, be curious, pay attention. Allow things to change through care and attention rather than forcing. Nice, come back to center. So. We're going to do the same side as again because that way I don't have to move. So bring your left ankle up on top of your right knee and then drop that shape down towards the right and then end up on your right arm and bring your left hand to your left knee. Okay. And then push your left knee away and just pause there for a moment. Nice. So we're going to rise upwards. So bring your left hand to the floor in front of your face, kind of. And then push your left hand down and slide up until you come to your right elbow. Now bring your left hand to your left knee again. So this time as you pull your knee away, there'll be more of a stretch into the groin, into the belly. Really slowly, you're going to turn your head towards your forearm. Notice what happens in your body. And then slowly, you're going to drop your forehead down in the direction of your forearm. And then you're going to come back up and you're going to look over your left shoulder down towards your right foot, that kind of direction, back that way. 
So rock in and out and listen to the deep of your lower back and belly. So I'm rocking backwards and then I'm rocking forwards. Come backwards, forward. And as I drop my forehead forward, I straighten my arm a bit more. My elbow bends as I look over to the left. My arm straightens as I look to the right. One more time. Back. And long. Nice. So stay on your forearm if that feels comfortable. Otherwise, come lie down onto your shoulder if you want to. But stay on your forearm if you can. And then lift your left foot up and try and look at your sole of your foot. Just like sole of my foot. Nothing particular in how you have to do it. Just try and look. And then try and look the other way. Like you're trying to look at the sole of your foot when your knee drops down and you pull your foot back. But don't torque your knee. Just listen. Look at your right left foot. Pull it up towards you. And then look at your foot the other way. I'm going very gently with the knee. Again, one time. Pull it up. And then pull it up. So either you're lying on your arm or you're still up on your forearm. Reach your right hand forward. Pull. Oh no, your left hand forward. Pull your left foot back. And then come into propellers up on your elbow. Or you're lying on your side with your arm underneath your head. Decide. This is strong on the right upper arm. See what you need to do. Reaching. Again, as I reach forward, I'm dropping my head down towards my right hand. One more time. Super cool. Come onto your back. Pause there. Great. So pause. Feel the different elements of your body. So your right shoulder, the right side of your hip, the left waist, all the places that we were accessing. Hmm, other side. So lift the right foot up. Bring the right ankle to rest on top of the left knee. Roll over and land on the upper arm of the left arm with your right hand on your right knee. Pause there. So this might already be enough for you. So stay here for whatever reason. Or bring your right hand to the floor, push down and pull your left elbow up till it's underneath your shoulder. Bring your right hand to your right knee, straighten your arm. Nice. And then slowly draw your forehead down towards your forearm. And then look over your shoulder, bend your elbow as you look over your shoulder. And so you're traveling from down to the left, arm is straightening. Over to the right, elbows bending. Straightening, bending. And again, straightening, bending. Nice. Now we're going to try and look at our foot. So reach down, grab hold of that right foot and try and look at your foot. Oh, that's my foot. And then try the other way. This, <laughs> I always make up names for things. This is like, do I have chicken poo? No chicken poo? Do you check the other way? No, no chicken poo. <laughs> so the, the geese and the chickens and everyone's going nuts outside. They're all, um, right, bring both knees together. I'll tell you a story as we move. So either bring yourself down to lie on your arm like so and do the movement from here or stay up on your forearm reach your right hand forward right foot back and then pull your elbow back and you can look over your shoulder you can keep looking towards the um, i don't even know what side that is what is it in for in front of you so uh spring has sprung like we have so many eggs from the chickens it's ridiculous and then the geese they're trying to make mess again in front of the windows in the kitchen and the dogs they bark at the geese and then the the geese they scream at the dogs and like even there just this morning there was like a kerfuffle because there's two male geese i think i'm not sure and uh and i think that they were fighting for territorial rights and uh, it's just all all very screamy shouty out there one more time nice <laughs> come lie on your back and pause so just reach your arms up towards the ceiling, unpack your shoulders by kind of lifting your shoulders up and then just do a shoulder shrug here. Pull your shoulders back, reach your shoulders forward. 
pull them back, reach them forward, back, forward. Nice, rock your knees from side to side. Nice. And just pause there. You can either bring the soles of your feet together. You can stretch your legs up towards the ceiling. You could come into happy baby pose or soles of your feet together, knees apart. Just kind of settle in for the next two minutes and just listen. Listen to this moment in your body. And I really appreciate just the sense of being in your body in this moment. How glorious. Um, I'm this thing happening every day where my speech is slower than this video. Hmm, I don't know what's going on. Um, if you're interested in, yeah, if you want to pay for this, it's really appreciated. <laughs> um, and, um, and I'll see you all tomorrow uh, for another wonderful day of equilibrium. And um, yeah, it's, it's just so lovely to be here. And um, yeah, yeah, if you want to tell friends about it, family about it, if you want to share this, if you want to contribute towards it, um, deeply appreciated for the work that myself and Sinead do. Um, so ciao, ciao, be great, be good, be awesome, be you, keep listening to the, this moment and define your boundaries based on the sensations that you feel. Awesome, ciao. Yeah.